Here's a brief look at imaging with fluorescing material. The wonderful thing about our photography is that we can image at very long shutter speeds. This particular image was taken at four seconds and I was on a tripod. So we can do that when we have the right equipment. You're looking at a series of vials that contain nanocrystals. And I am exciting it with ultraviolet lamps. Here is another image that I'm not crazy about, but that's the image that the researchers would have preferred. I then went back and started playing with the cuvettes with all these cadmium selenide nanocrystals. I placed it in this order, then I made it a little more random. You're not going to do this all the time, but it happens that this particular material was screaming to be played with, and uh, it was really important research about quantum dots. In these next two images, here's one that was taken under UV light because these gels in the Petri dishes are also fluorescing, different wavelengths, of course, from the previous one. And here it is with fluorescing, with UV light and room light. I had a combination of both on these. And here's another example of those quantum dots. This time they were infused into plastic. Here is a purely UV illuminated image. And once again, I decided to turn on some available light and it's a sort of a combination of using the UV lamp and available lamp light in the lab.